All right, so we're going to watch some video of you above the water here. Now, the first thing I want you to kind of see is that wrist, how it's kind of bent as you're coming forward. Try to keep that hand a little bit more in line with your forearm and try and not go swinging out quite so far to the side. Um, there's a drill that Lynette likes to do. It's called a zipper drill where you try to zip your thumb right up along your body. You want to try and keep that hand a little bit closer to your body. You don't want to go quite as wide as we see there. And right here, you can see this elbow is entering and look at how high that wrist is still above the water. So we really do need to work at making sure it's a fingertip entry and a higher elbow. And as you get a little bit closer, we'll see a little bit more what we're talking about. But that's what we want to work on there. As we come out here with your right hand, or I'm sorry, that's your left. You can even see here the left hand is also entering a little bit with that elbow because you can see the splash back in this position here, and you can see that your hand's still above that water. So we've got to make sure we're working in on that hand entry and thinking about high elbows. You know, the zipper drill is a good one, the fingertip drag is a good one, um, but the other good one is the three-quarter drill. All of these drills are drills that specifically for you will help you to think about what your hand entry needs to look at and what your arms should feel like above the water. Again, you can kind of see here your whole arm is submerged, but your wrist is yet to go in the water. You're just about to enter with those fingertips. Love the fact that you're entering fingertips down, but that really will help you out a lot. So this was a much better job on the left hand. Your hand is entering fingertips first, and then that elbow falls in. So good job there. But you can see it big time on that right side. Now here on the left side, when you're breathing to the right, as you take that breath, you can see there you drop your elbow again. All right, so let's just continue to work on making sure we have high elbows all the way through and fingertip entries. Here's that breath that looks amazing. And, and here's the thing, while we can see both your goggles a little bit, we can also see this goggle underwater. So that breath is absolutely perfect. You do a great job of getting that pocket of air right there. And the other thing we like is right here as you're getting ready to exit the pool, you're kind of lifting up with that elbow first, which is exactly right. You want to make sure as your hand comes up, that elbow kind of comes up, which helps bring your hand around. That's really good. Kick looks good too. We can see a nice steady beat, nice white water coming from those legs. Just remember, keep them going all the way through. All right, as we get into our turn here, you still took a breath there, last stroke in, you took a breath. At least you're not doing what I call the garbage breath. This is the very last breath as you kind of flip your head to the side. So that looks good. You know what, I don't think I really saw your hands. Let's throw on that just a little bit. All right. Because we could see that your hands were coming up above the water here um, on the flip turn when we were underwater. Let's see what it looks like as we come in here. Here, your hand hits the hip. Okay, yeah, they do come up, so I just missed them. So see how your hands are coming above the water? This is the point where you want those hands actually almost at your head at this point, like as if you're throwing water towards your face. Great job right here. I like how your feet are separated just slightly, but hip width apart. That helps aid in having a much better and stronger uh, push off the wall. So that's great, Sarah. Good couple dolphin kicks. The other thing I really like is how you break out with this that kick. Your kick looked amazing. Good first stroke here. Out past the flags without a breath, so that's good. Let's work on the breathing in the wall. Good job, Sarah. All right, wait. Rewind that left arm. All right, as we do this pull here. You can see right here as your wrist starting to face up, you're getting ready to enter with that elbow first. See now you're starting to turn your wrist down. So you've got up, 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 elbow enters, and then you turn the wrist down. So that's what we want to work on. We want to work on what you're doing with your left wrist and what you're doing with your left elbow. Okay? I know it sounds easy, right? And I know we can fix it because for sure you do some incredible things. So that's a little thing that we're going to get better. Great job, Sarah.